Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Anchor Star Wealth Morning Show. I'm your host, Steve Anchorstar. Allison has the day off today. Today, we're going to talk about Chairman Powell's uh, comments that he has a speech upcoming this morning about interest rates. Uh, obviously, that's going to set the, uh, the tone for the next meeting, the Fed Reserve meeting that's coming up this morning. Also, we're going to talk about United's earnings as well as Tesla's earnings. Uh, but before we start, uh, you might hear in the background, we have a Southwest flight that's calling everybody individually to board the plane. That's quite interesting, especially when you're trying to record something. Uh, before we begin, as a reminder, it's a financial education presentation and should not be construed as a personal financial advice. Full disclaimer information is available at anchorstarwealth.com. Star, anchor now let's get time. started. All passengers on board at this time. Oh my. Okay, so here's what we've got going on. First of all, Chairman Powell's uh, speech this morning. Uh, let's take a look at here's what we have. So he speaks at 11 o'clock Eastern, as you can see at the uh, Urban Research, is Paul Volcker. Uh, uh, Penn Institute for Urban Research uh, special briefing again at 11 o'clock Eastern of this morning, where he's going to talk about the uh, Fed policy and interest rates. We're hoping that he confirms that he's going to do a quarter point or the Fed's going to do a quarter point interest rate raise for the remainder of the uh, year at each meeting. Again, that would put us on pace for the 1.75 by the end of the year. However, you know, uh, Fed Chair Bullard has also been on TV lately talking about 75 basis points at this upcoming meeting. So hopefully, and that kind of spooked the market. So hopefully that we're going to get some clarity from uh, Chairman Powell uh, later this morning on exactly um, we know where they're going. But you can see interest rates. We talked yesterday about the 30 day, or excuse me, 30 year mortgage going all the way up to 5.2%. Uh, interest rates are even up even a little bit more uh, today. So um, moving on to the next topic, we have Tesla earnings, Tesla crushed earnings. Uh, this morning, higher record margins, record revenue. Uh, so really hitting on all cylinders as far as, you know, everything that Tesla's up to uh, out there. So stocks already moved up a 7% on this news. Let's go ahead and pull the chart there real quick. So, you know, I'm not a fan, but, you know, I do have to give credit where it's due and Tesla has been uh, killing it lately and continuing to do so. So am I going to buy in here? No, I think the stocks run up way too far to be able to buy in. There's the one year chart. Um, but you know, if you have, if you have it, certainly hold it. <clears throat> if you believe, then you need to be a part of it. If you don't have any and you want part of it, you get a couple shares, but I would not necessarily load up uh, at this entry point. I do think we see it back below a thousand again, once the euphoria wears off from this earnings report. All right, and the last one I have for you today is United uh, Airlines. Uh, again, airlines are a tough investment just because of the heavy capital requirements and a, you know, all of the specialty folks that work for the airlines, from the pilots to the maintainers to the flight attendants to the gate folks, all that requires special skills. So, you know, increased training, you're not able to, uh, not able to replace them on a moment's notice. So, uh, but when you look at United here, it uh, looks like they're going to be profitable along with Delta here in 2022, again, coming out of the big dip in 2020 when the pandemic started. So that return to profitability is kind of a big deal. Stock is up 7% already this morning. When you look at the chart, though, again, we'll go to a one-year chart here. I'll pull this up for you. Um, that's what you're looking at. I mean, just had a dip down to 35. That would have been nice. Um, up to 50. Do I see it screaming back higher above 60 anytime soon? I really don't. I don't think there's a catalyst for that to happen. Even though you know it's good that it's returning to profitability, there's still lots of dangers out there. And even though we're rid of the mass mandate now, you know, I think any resurgence at all in COVID could bring that back and also hamper the airlines. But to their credit though, if you've flown recently, and I'm obviously sitting in an airport since you hear all the background noise, um, fares have increased significantly around to the tune of 20, 25% in the past like month or so. Um, so again, people are wanting to get back out there. So of course the airlines are gonna charge more for the service and uh, you know, rightfully so make a little bit more money on that. So, all right, so that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for uh, listening in. Please submit your questions and comments through social media or directly to our email at VIP services, anchorstarwealth.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Steve Anchorstar and we'll see you back here tomorrow. This is a Delta.